Right, you might remember this. When I stitched on this last week and the line was wonky and I said, knowing me, I'll unpick it and do it again. Well, yes, I win the prize because I did unde indeed unpick it and do it again. So the green, there is green on here, is there, okay. And then I've done like a, a sugary pinky and a more vibrant pinky red kind of colour but the green's got lost I think alongside that them two colours so I'm going to do another line of green in between those two colours because I don't want it to get lost and then I'm going to cut it up and put it in my book and I did tell you that I would finish this with you so that is what I'm doing so I'm hoping that I win a prize for predicting that I would pull it out and do it again I might have known at the time. So basically you watched me stitch a, stitch a line for no good reason because I then went and cut it out. So, but I couldn't have lived with myself. So I'm going to do another, this should hopefully be straight because it's between two straight lines. So if I can't even manage to do that straight, then I need to throw away my needles and get a job doing something else. Let me think, what could I do? I could be a toilet attendant. I couldn't be a chef or a housekeeper because I can't even keep this house properly. Do you know what job I would love? I would love, love, love to be a mystery shopper. You know, when you go around the supermarket and you mark the staff for courteousness and helpfulness and then you you mark the shop for cleanliness as a building and like presentation and ease of shopping and I'd love to do that because I haven't I've come across some rude shop assistants in my time. There'd be plenty of vacancies, people getting fired after I'd done the mystery shopping. Anyway, this is about sewing. So yeah, somebody said that they enjoyed this because they enjoyed me telling them about each bit of cloth when I did it, where I got it from. So that was nice, thank you. And if you didn't watch the last one and you don't know what I'm talking about, then there'll be a link to that somewhere in this post where you can watch me stitch a line that isn't anywhere near straight. So. So this is gonna go in the book that I'm making for myself. Um, Oh, and then tomorrow, I'm not going to be here. So I am going to make you a video of me putting a little page together for one of the books that I am going to be selling when I get a couple of hours, because they're near, I'm nearly there with them. I just need a couple of hours to finish them off. So, this is silk scrim. I love silk scrim. It's so beautiful. It's quite expensive, but I bought some to, as part of the cost of the day workshop thing I did in London, it, some of that was included in the cost. Um, so I got a little bit for myself at the same time. I do love to work with it. I haven't got a problem spending a fortune on fabric. Not got a problem at all. So I'll put this back. I don't look for cheap. I don't look for expensive. But I'll look for something that gets me, that just says I've got to have it, you know. But then I don't always act on that because I have seen some fabric that's the most ridiculous price you could imagine. And there's no way I could afford it. I've left my fabric scissors just to the left of me. I'm literally just there, there. Take it up. right so I'm hopefully going to cut this in a straight line I know I'm on my cutting mat here aren't I I could use that as a guide I mean that's what a normal person would do but I actually want it but want it too wide Keep an eye on the line at the top. And I'm at an awkward angle here. 
up in my defence. Right, so, and I'm not going to worry about these edges. If they fray, they fray. And if they don't, it's a bonus. And in fact, sometimes I think that can look nice anyway. So now, I'm just going to trim this off here so that, it's, uh, so that my stitching lines aren't dead centre. I always prefer, well mostly I prefer off centre. Now if that isn't straight, that looks perfectly okay to me, perfectly acceptable. And that is going to go in here on this page there. And I might put it so the colours on that side. So I am going to put that in there. So I need to put some white cotton abroader in my needle. Because I'm going to tie it on. Oh, what, do you know, I always do that. I always cut thread to use. And I've got some already in here. So the moral of that story is, Karen, check before you cut more thread. So if I have that there, perhaps... I don't want it there, no, I'm going to have it there. My sugary page continues. I'm literally just going to tie it in. Now I quite like when it's not secured at the bottom because I'll tell you for why when I've done this. It just means that you just got to be dead careful when you're opening and closing pages that they're lying flat and they're not getting scrunched up in the page. Um, and I've got a bit of green thread coming out the top of there, so I'm going to cut that off. tell you for why when I've done this. So I just want to check that this is going to be straight. So I'll turn it around to face me. See, yeah, and I'll, uh, yeah, I'll do it first and I'll tell you. So very often, and my little books are tied. I don't like putting anything sticky anywhere near fabric, even scratchy little samples like this. It's got a, a desire to twist this piece of cloth, probably because of the way it was created when I put it together. But I think I might be able to live with that. I'll have a look in a second. There. So I don't... I prefer them loose because then you can handle them properly, can't you? Like you can turn a page and you can think, you know, like that. So I'm going to leave it loose, but then obviously the concern is and the consideration. When I close it, I've got to make sure that's flat, okay? And if I had more pages in here and I was like, if I had a page at the back of this and I was leaping through, that would be like that. So I'd have to do it like that. It just means you've got to take a bit more care and consideration when you're doing things. Right, so that's it. Hope you think it works on that. I can't, I'm reluctant to say that I love it because it's, as mentioned in the last video, don't know if it's a bit too sugary for me. But the page isn't finished yet anyway. Something else will probably happen on there and that might help me a bit more. I don't really dislike it or anything. The jury is out.